Uh, the Whelan family have sold their remaining shares in Wigan Athletic to International Entertainment Corporation, which is a company based out of Hong Kong. They've sold the club for a very small figure, actually, for only £22 million. Uh, that's a lot less than what I thought uh, could go for the, the club could go for. Uh, in, in real terms, that's an average signing in the Premier League. That's an average Premier League player is what the club is valued at, apparently. be interesting to see... Um, what investment comes to the club now. And I'd be interested to see if the Whelan family stay involved in football or, or any kind of sport, therefore, going forward. Uh, when Dave Whelan bought the club in the mid-90s, they were struggling in the fourth tier of English football and he guided them under his ownership to the Premier League and the FA Cup uh, in 2013, which was their peak. Um, obviously, they they had a couple of relegations. Um, they ended up in League One, which they were champions of last year. They're currently sitting 16th in the Championship. And I think the the... The goal this season is to stabilise in the Championship. Um, that That's what I would think would be a, a solid outcome. We'll see what happens in January in the transfer market. We'll see what players are brought in. And we'll see if they do make a, a push for the playoffs or automatic promotion. The team that finished second, my team Blackburn, uh, that I follow, they finished second last year in League One. They're, they're far better off in the table. So uh, it's been a, a bit of adjustment for Wigan this season in the level of football. But obviously the club want to get back to the Premier League and I think this is the way they're going to have to do it. Um, foreign takeovers are under a lot of scrutiny right now. Uh, but any kind of takeover in football is under scrutiny right now. So hopefully um, these owners have a long-term plan for the club and, and are going to be long-term stable owners like Dave Whelan and his family were for so long. Will Dave Whelan stay involved in football? Will he buy another club? We'll have to wait and see. Will he stay involved in sport? Because obviously Wigan's also a rugby league town. Uh, and of course, he's instrumental in having the sponsorship deal with the stadium, the DW, formerly the JJB. His companies have sponsored Wigan Stadium for quite some time. Uh, so will he be involved in sport going forward? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Will his family uh, be involved in football or sport, uh, you know, buying another club or getting involved in investing in sport long term? We shall see. But for now, uh, we know the club's been sold uh, and the Whelan family era has ended. So what does this mean for Wigan? I, I honestly could not tell you what the future holds, but I'm hoping that these new owners are, are a stable, long-term investment and it's not just they're in it to make a quick buck because we've seen that with owners uh, selling up uh, to new investors and these new investors just want to flip the sale, make as much money out of the club as possible in, in previous club you know, purchases. So we'll see what happens, but that's all we know for now is the club's been sold. So if you're a Wigan fan, what do you make of Dave Whelan selling up? Um, uh, and and what do you make of the future for your club that's what i want to hear about anyway thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe place your comments below and i'll have some more videos for you soon